What's up guys? Windows is the most popular operating system in the world. And these last couple of years, nobody seems to be talking about it. Everybody seems to be focused on mobile, which is Android and iOS. However, Windows still accounts for over 65% market share when you compare it to other operating systems out there like Linux, Mac, iOS, and including Android. With Windows 8, uh, being just released a, a few days ago, they have really, Microsoft has really revamped this whole thing from the ground up. And it's been getting a lot of mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people hate it, but mainly the change. People do not like change. It doesn't matter what it is. Facebook, when they changed their interface, people started saying, oh, I hate it, I hate it, and then everybody gets used to it. But make no mistake, guys, that Windows is here to stay, and Microsoft has produced a great product and I'm gonna show you why. Let's get started. The biggest change in Windows 8 is the complete modern UI. So this is a traditional Windows 7 that we're all familiar with. And then we have something like this. And this is what everybody seems to be freaking out about. Now if you really think about the modern UI, it's actually pretty smart. Uh, you have different windows over here and tiles, but what most important is that you can label things. For example, this is my home screen. This is my productivity, multimedia, social, shopping, and of course I just got Windows 8, so I'm kind of barely setting things up. But this is something that I kind of have on my Android phone. I have different windows that I label for different applications. Now traditionally, let me show you guys, this is what we used to, what I used to do. So for example, if I have Photoshop, I would click on it here, or push on it here, and if I needed to load an app, I would go this way. I would go to here, and then I would go to all programs. I would find the program that I want, let's say QuickBooks, and then I would load it. It just seems like a, a lot of steps that are unnecessary. Now with Windows 8, it's really cool. If I wanted to load Photoshop, here's my productivity. I immediately can just click on it and I will go to Photoshop. If I needed to load up Skype, I would just go to my social. If I need to see what's happening on Facebook or whatever, I can just come in here to people and it would just load things and see what's new. It really just works. So why does everybody not like Windows 8? Um, and it seems to be because of the radical change. You know, you, you go from this to this, it just seems like, whoa, what's going on here? I'm not used to it. There's different gestures or menus on the side that are more for tablet, which we'll talk about a little later. Let's take a look at a website like Netflix. Traditionally, you would have to open up your browser, go on to Netflix.com, and this is sort of the experience you get. Now, that Flash is dead, you could say, and HTML5 is growing stronger, you're still limited though with HTML5. You can only do so much. So that rich experience that we were used to um, is kind of dying down and everything is sort of, uh, I guess you could say, plain and simple. But that's not the case with Windows 8. See, with Windows 8, you now have apps. So for example, I could download the Netflix app and my experience is going to be much better. So this would be the Netflix application and it would, it's a lot more of a rich experience compared to the website version. So these are some of the top 10. Um, and I know that's available on the website, but it's just completely different. And if I had a touch enabled device, I can just sort of swipe away and it would just be a lot better. Um, I can't do that with... Uh, I would have to drag over here. So really, Windows 8, once you start using it with a touch-enabled de device, and you know, laptops are gonna be eventually uh, touch-enabled, touch and it's gonna bring you even a better experience. But overall, however, things really haven't changed much. Take, for example, the menu here. You'll notice that there's more of an advanced option to do things, and the navigation is a lot easier. So for example, if I go into this folder here, Wallpapers, I can easily just click here to go back. So the interface is a lot nicer. It reminds me more of kind of like Microsoft Word per se. You can do things like move, copy, delete, rename. Everything is a lot easier to do rather than right clicking and you know dragging things around. So really the overall experience is much better. Things load faster. The operating system overall is smoother. Um, I haven't had any compatibility issues and I run a lot of different programs like Photoshop, Premiere, FileZilla, just different programs, and I haven't had any issues at all. So overall, the experience is going to be actually better. And again, not much has changed with the exception of the modern UI that you've seen um, 
in the beginning of the video. But I think where Windows 8 really shines is that no matter if I'm using my desktop or notebook PC or I'm over here on my tablet, the experience is going to be the same. And I think that's where Microsoft really nailed it is that no matter tablet or notebook, PC, everything is pretty much the same. And it's something that it's a familiar interface. Unlike Apple that has their you know, Mountain Lion and iOS, the experience is completely different. And I think this, this was a really bold move on Microsoft, but I think it's going to pay off in the end. Now, I really didn't want to make a long video on Windows 8 just because the overall experience is the same. If you don't like the modern UI or if you want your start menu back, I've actually made a video on how you can get those things back. Go ahead and click on that here or I've also left that link below. It's called How to Fix Windows 8. So the other things that Windows 8 has to offer is just better speed improvements, overall better battery life if you're on a notebook. So the overall experience is much better. So it's really hard to dislike Windows 8, especially when they've created an awesome product that unifies the tablet experience with your desktop. So it's kind of a two in one per se. Anyhow guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very happy that I've actually think that Microsoft has something really good here. And I'm, like I said, I'm a geek at heart. So I like, I actually enjoy the Surface. If you haven't seen my review on that, I've also left that link down below or you can click up here on this video. And really, Microsoft has done something very bold, while others like Apple are kind of more on cruise control and slowly integrating Mountain Lion with iOS, where Microsoft just pretty much went, bam, here it is, this is the future, and we're here to stay. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you like technology, please subscribe to my channel. If you like to see what I do, follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. I've left those links down below. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Adiós.